We begin just 90 miles off our shore in Cuba, where tonight the American flag once again flying just outside the U.S. Embassy there for the first time in more than 50 years. Excitement on the ground, thousands of Cubans shoulder to shoulder watching it all unfold. Many Americans watching tonight remembering a time when Cuba was a popular destination. The rich culture, the casinos, the nightlife. Tonight here, the moment the flag went up. And when will travel open up for everyday Americans who want to see the island? Those cars frozen in time. ABC's Jamavala, who broke the story several months back about the U.S. and its changing relationship with Cuba, leading us off tonight from Cuba. Jim? Today, as the stars and stripes climbed that flagpole, Cubans lined the streets to watch. Chanting USA, USA, waving American flags, peering through binoculars. Secretary of State John Kerry celebrating the first true American embassy on the island in 54 years. Our leaders, President Obama and President Castro, made a courageous decision to stop being the prisoners of history. That history turned a gambling playground run by the mafia into a communist-ruled Cold War enemy under the iron grip of Fidel Castro. The American embassy closing in 1961. But this morning, the same three Marines who lowered the U.S. flag that day, here presenting it to this generation of Marines who would raise it again. Now this country frozen in time, moving towards the future. Secretary Kerry getting behind the wheel of one of those classic American cars, many worth more than $60,000 for collectors. And walking the streets of old Havana, the first American Secretary of State to visit Cuba since 1945. Tell me what you gained today by walking around old Havana. You know, you get a little bit of feel for the people. Who, by the way, we're extremely friendly and very, very happy about this historic moment. And when will an American president travel here? David asked President Obama back in December when ABC News first broke the news that diplomatic ties would soon be restored. Will you visit Cuba in your final two years as president? You know, I don't have any current plans to visit Cuba. Um, Not ruling it out? Uh, well, let's, let's uh, see how things evolve. Sources tell ABC News as long as there are no big setbacks in this still young and fragile relationship, the president plans to visit Cuba next summer. And we've learned that soon the president will announce more executive actions to make it even easier for all Americans to come here. David?